Hello, and welcome to the CCNA Routing and Switching course offered by Simply Learn. The previous lesson focused on spanning tree and ether channel. This lesson focuses on security. Let us begin with the objectives of this lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain how access control lists are processed, configure and verify various types of router access control lists, describe how access control lists can be used to make the network more secure. Let us start with access control lists in the next slide. Access control lists, ACLs, also called simply access lists, allow you to permit or deny packets for further processing based on packet information. They serve many purposes, for example, packet filtering and NAT. This lesson will address only router access lists and provide a foundation for in-depth learning about other types of access lists in the future. ACLs are a critical component in securing switches and routers. ACLs filter by address or subnet. Multiple access control list entries, ACEs for access control list entries, are possible within an ACL. Let us find out how to specify addresses in the next slide. ACLs use wildcard masks, like the inverse masks used for EIGRP and OSPF in the network command. To construct an inverse mask, the ones are swapped with the zeros in the binary representation of the subnet address. This is the same thing as taking 255.255.255.255 and subtracting the regular subnet mask, for example, 192.168.1.0/24 has a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Subtracting this mask from 255.255.255.255 yields 0.0.0.255 .0 as the inverse mask. Keywords can be substituted for two special addresses. The word host is the same as wildcard mask 0.0.0.0 and the word any is the same as wildcard mask 255.255.255.255. For example, instead of 192.168.1.1.0.0.0.0, enter host 192.168.1.1, instead of 0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0, enter any. Before configuring ACLs, let us discuss how they work in the next slide. 